Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James in Nashville, and this will be a video on World Beyond Season 2, Episode 9. Spoiler alert if you're not caught up. I'll be discussing some of the stuff Jada said in the episode. I get it. You're angry. You blame the CRM for all your troubles. So we're at the standoff. Jadis, Jennifer, some CRM soldiers have stopped part of the group that split off from the others. We got Felix, Hope, Iris, Percy. We got Mason as a hostage. And it's some of the stuff that Jada says right here. It seems, you know, I guess she's telling the truth as far as that's just the way it was written in the show and it's true in the show. Personally, as far as my own opinion of everything she said, we'll get into it here in a second, but to me, the stuff she explained, Civic Republic was helping out Campus Colony, Omaha, and Portland, giving them supplies. And when the people at CRM did some modeling into the future, they realized we can't keep this up. They're going to become a strain and eventually go downhill and be a burden more of a burden to us. Uh, we tried to help these people in the beginning, but they didn't try to help themselves enough, so we're gonna have to kill them off. That's almost to me like, say you got three kids, and you're like, you know, I just can't afford to feed the kids anymore. I'm gonna kill them off or something. I mean, to me, that's how evil that is. It's hard to say, it's hard for me to think anyway, that you've got a city of 100,000, a city of 80,000 in Portland, and people are not trying to make it themselves, build a little more fence out there yonder across that land and plow it up. A highway used to go across it, plow that crap up and plant some food, man. But it is what it is. Let's go over a little bit more though, exactly what she did say. You murdered a hundred thousand people. They were gonna die anyway. The military made the hard choices so the civilians wouldn't have to. Yeah, so that kind of sums up a little bit what I said. Hey, you killed 100,000 people. Well, they were going to die anyway. You know, that kind of thing. To me, that's, that's kind of evil. Two years ago, the CRM's modeling revealed that the Alliance would soon become a drain on the Civic Republic's resources. Okay, and that goes into a little bit what I was saying, too. We see that they're going to become too much of a strain on Civic Republic resources. Well, if you cut them off, they become their own thing. You're not on an Alliance anymore. And there are 100,000 people that could turn against you eventually, a community that could turn against you. 80,000 people, a community that could turn against you. If they go together, they're just as big as CRM pretty much. They could go against them. So wipe them out. If we can't keep them fed, if we can't keep them watered, if we can't keep them happy, if they're just going to go down in flames, might as well kill them off anyway. We can't keep them up. They're spoiled children. I've become too reliant. They'd never be fully self-sustaining. So it was only a matter of time before thousands faced a famine of devastating proportions. And one other thing to think about, too, is the level of society you want to be at. If, say, Omaha was a city and had electricity and bustling things like cars and um, all the systems and, and, and civic type things, society things that you can think of, well, maybe that's too much to start with right out of the bag, right? Like you just had an apocalypse, everything went down to zero. Don't try to go to a hundred before you get to 25. And that just means, you know, Commonwealth. Maybe they uh, did it pretty smart. They didn't try. You know, they didn't say we got to have cars running immediately. We got to have all of society back to normal immediately. But we discussed some things down in the comments with you guys, and I know some of you guys are kind of on the CRM side and totally see what Jadis is saying, um, totally make sense of that. And that's understandable. I'm kind of on the other side, I think, where I see it's an evil thing, and, you know, maybe there's another uh, option. Those thousands would have died slowly. Disease and conflict would have spread to the Civic Republic itself. And then... The light of the world extinguished. Because I want to bring up to the newspaper thing. I did a video on that um, that Huck was reading. And we've heard him talk about it and stuff. The civilian government wants to take over CRM. Have some oversight there. Major General Bill, we think, as fans, did the uh, put the large column together and overrun Omaha and Portland because they want to stay in control as a leverage to stay in control. But the way Jadis talks is, well, they had to die anyway. What we did to your home was mercy. We made sure all assets were extracted, including 10,000 children. And the greatest minds were sent here. So then Jadis says they took resources, supplies, and um, 10,000 children. So, you know, what ages were these kids? Were they like five, six, seven? What did they tell them? How did they know 
Were they orphans? You know, it's like there's all kinds of questions and all kinds of things that uh, is is built into what Jadis is saying, details and stuff. Those who died became an essential part of our study to end reanimation. What gives you the right to choose who lives and who dies? The part she says that those who died became an essential part of the study um, trying to stop reanimation. And Hope, of course, asked the question that I ask, what gives you the right? You criticize the CRM when it is our work that made your very existence possible. So that's a little truth right there saying that, yeah, we do criticize CRM's work because it's evil, Jadis. But yeah, I acknowledge that we possibly would be dead right now if it wasn't for CRM protecting us, helping us, giving us supplies, or at least we wouldn't be living the life that we were living, most likely. All you're doing is stopping the march towards scientific progress. Denying the world the path to its rightful future. Yeah, so at the moment, they have the data that they've had up to this point, all the collected data. So that's a plus if they can get away. Did they put a big thorn in CRM's side if the data does get away and not get retrieved? Oh, yeah, that's a big thing. And that could be a thing that's got to be, unless they retrieve the data in episode 10, hey, that's a big thing for CRM. So it, will it be carried over into another series, um, another spinoff, another series like um, Fear the Walking Dead? Will the loss of data story go into the movies? There's a lot of questions there, but there's a lot of questions about what Jadis is saying. Look for the next video being what Jadis said to Major General Bill in the conversation in the tent. That'll be a video in itself coming up next. And hey, you guys, let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below, and I will join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff. Drop it. Wrong choice, Jennifer.